Hello guys and welcome back to Diablo 3. Um, last time we finished exploring the entire Dalgur, Dal, Dalgur oasis, this place and this place and this little bit. We did all the optional side dungeons so now all that's left is the Forgotten Ruins. Where we're hopefully going to find Zoltan Kuhl's head. And remember the Horadrim? chopped him to pieces basically and um dark magic fills this place like a foul mist that is a powerful foe over there so we can expect certain defenses to be here because the horadrim did not want that guy to ever come back um means it's probably not the best of ideas to want to bring him back but we don't have a choice really now, firstly, as a gamer, I don't have a choice because that's where the story takes me. But the characters in game don't have a choice either, really, because um, we can't really do anything against the prime evils, which are still left, without Zoltan Kul. We need the Black Salt Stone. And we know that Belial fe fears it, so. Um, it's obvious that it has some sort of power against them we need because we need all we can get against them really like they're massive they're like the highest of the lords of hell they are demons and worse whatever call them what you like they're really bad guys and really powerful um, and we need all the help we can get if we are to defeat them so ooh, a champion Um, the one disadvantage to the fireballs, fire bombs, which I'm currently using. I know they're not called fire bombs. It's called a fire. Well, it is called a fire bomb. Okay, I thought it was called fire skull. Um, I thought I just got the fire bomb um, skill name from um, Dark Souls, but I didn't. Demon Souls, actually. And I believe that one of these dungeons here, maybe not this exact one, but um, one of the dungeons with these tiles, basically, like with this design, um, was where I found my first ever legendary, which was a low-level quiver. Which I have to say is about as bad as it gets really I found that re I found that a really useless drop I never ever used that thing ended up salvaging it okay I've got quite a good range on the fireballs as well that's nice fire bombs I know um yeah, the one thing that I don't really like about them is they, um, they're like grenades. They take a while to basically fly, so um, fast-moving enemies you sometimes miss. But at least if I actually target a bit of environment, I actually kill it. Destroy it, whatever. Unlike the Spider Queen, which I haven't been known to chuck at a bit of environment and it just stood there a barrel or the floating debris things we had earlier. Spider queens were useless. Oh look, that's Sultan Kul's head. Um, I'm going to take that now actually, once I've killed these enemies. Um, but I'm not gonna take the exit yet. And there we have one of the Horatric defenses. Um, a an ancient guardian. Cool mocks my every step. I try to shut him out, but his chattering is ceaseless. He takes joy in taunting me. I will not rise to the bait. I will not give in to him. I long for the silence that will come once I secure his head away. Okay. We set out in one week's time, into the desolate sands, 
to search for Kul's hidden archives. None of us have any idea what to expect. How far has Kul's madness driven him? How much power has he accumulated in his mad quest? I can only hope we are not too late. At least the random banter from the Enchantress does not interrupt lore books and stuff. I guess that would really... Um, that would be a bit annoying. Um, one thing, I'm not certain I've mentioned that, but I do like the way they handle the lore in this game. Um, like you find the books and then sometimes you just have... Um, Bale was the most brash and reckless of the prime evils. After the Dark Exile, he was contained within the Herodrim Tal Rasha and entombed. Centuries later, Diablo freed Bale, who then corrupted the World Stone to devastating effect for the barbarians who lived near Mount Ariat. The heroes killed Bale shortly afterward. Um, yeah, most of the lore you get in this game is actually read out to you. So, um, in games of old, where you had this sort of, like, an encyclopedia of enemies or something like that, um, you would have to actually go through it and read it yourself, which um, I always found that a bit of a poor, poor choice, really. Um, it was just the thing to do at the time. Um, obviously, there were even technological limitations on just how much you could squeeze on a disc back in the days. Um, okay, that was a lot better than trying to kill those things with the Spider Queen. Um, but yeah, it's just, it just, um, it works very well when you can get the lore as you go through. You don't have to switch to a different menu and, like, read up on your enemies. You could. I mean, like, you'd get the text in the, in the lore menu. Um, as you see, if I look at this, I can read all the, um, all the information I can find, I can read. If I like to. But the default option is it's being read out to me, which means I can just keep on killing, keep on fighting, keep doing what the game is really supposed to be all about, killing and collecting loot. But all the th all the while I'm getting information about um, just a little more in-depth about the game. It's telling me a little bit of the background story from the other games, it's telling me about what these enemies are and um, just interesting little things, basically. Um, and I quite like how they do it in speech rather than text. And now we have to get back to the hidden camp. If you keep holding back, then you'll never improve. Ah! Leah, are you alright? Yes, I think so. I'm sorry to push you like this, but it will all be for the best in the end. I know. Okay, so that's over. Um, Leah's practicing, but she's not very good yet. It is time. Leah, cast the spell as I taught you. I live again. Zoltan Kuhn. We need you to activate the Black Soul Stone. We would use it to trap the last two Lords of Hell. <laughs> I know your voice, stranger. It has haunted me in death, just as it commanded me in life. Tyriel. I am, but now mortal. Ah, fate is whimsical. Oh dear. That's gonna take a while. After surviving the devastation in Tristram all those years ago, I swore vengeance upon Diablo and his ilk. I've sacrificed everything for it. This is my path, and I will follow it through to its bloody end. Leah has great faith in you. She has a kind heart. Is that not good? 
Kindness will not help us survive in these dark times. Uh, I don't want to lose the magic find from my chest armor, though. So, mm, I'm keeping it for now. The Lord of Lies is cunning. He wears many masks to hide his shifting nature from us. But we will have an advantage over him. The Black Soul Stone. Belial fears its power, for Soul Stones have bested his siblings in the past, and he could be imprisoned as well. Okay, I think that's all we can get from her. Um, so before I go on, I'm just salvaging all these items. And putting them away. For some re reason, these fallen tooths are actually fairly valuable. I don't know why, but they are. Hey, Jake. Tell me about the Vecine. Tell me of your time with the Vecin. When we first joined the wagon train, we were just two lost souls. The Vecin thought it was unbearably romantic. A pair of lovers on the run from their pasts. I suppose it might have even been true. A mystic with a Vecin recognized Mira's talent immediately. We stayed with them while Mira learned from her. Along the way, we fell in love and married. I've never known anything as surely as my love for her. Perhaps she cast a spell on you. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, not the best thing to say. Um, I still think that he was remarkably calm when he killed his wife, but still. At least we get some background on that now. Okay, let's check the Enchantress. Prophecy broken. Do you know what became of your sisters? They should have awakened as well, but their mission has already ended. How? I sought out the closest two before I met you. They lay dead and mutilated in their chambers. The others are some distance away. I fear the worst. Who killed them? There were traces of demonic magic upon their wounds. But surely the Prophet could have protected them. Where has he gone? Um, no. Okay, nothing else. Scoundrel, talk to me about first love. Tell me, have you ever truly loved a woman? Ah, yes. The unreasonable one I spoke of earlier. I loved her with every inch of my heart before I went black as coal. Where did she go? Well, she did what all unreasonable women do. Marry the wrong man. You did not steal her back? It wouldn't have been easy. He was my brother. Oh, dear. And even more talking coming up. Um, I miss Uncle Deckard so much. It's hard going on without him. Kane would be proud of you, Leah. Thank you. I'm going to get back to my research. I'm already sparing you the diaries she's, she's writing in this bit of the game. Now, a lot of lies. Have you fought Belial before? Not openly. He was never one to lead an army. Always in the shadows, much like his mentor, Mephisto. He wields intrigue and artifice as proficiently as you wield your weapons. And that's another point of critique which I have to agree with. Um, Belial is meant to be like a master of lies and really sneaky and stuff. His plots are fairly easy to th see through. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything, just... As we go through this act, just... Think about what might happen. You might just as you might probably be right actually. Um, they're not difficult to see through at all. I will give you the black soul stone, but in exchange I must be made whole once again. You were treacherous before. How do I know you won't be an even greater threat once you've been fully revived? You don't. So you must ask yourself. How much would you risk to save this wretched world? Everything. Ah, so be it. To begin, you will need to retrieve my blood from the dungeons where it has been hidden away. 
You will find them in the desolate sands beyond the aqueducts. I'm going to go with you. We should bring Cool's head with us. Maybe he'll have something useful to say. I'll put him in your bag. And once again, he's not actually in my bag. He's just... He's assumed to be there, but I'm not burdened by him, basically. And now we fought the boss here earlier. Um, the random snake. I think it dropped the boots, actually. Um, and this is where we need to go now. Into the... I can open this gate for you. Ancient waterway. Emperor Hakam? No time for pleasantries. I think I may have uncovered Bilal's assumed identity. I'm very close. But here's what you need to know. To find Kool's blood, we need to get through the aqueducts. There are two levers that control the entrance beneath the waterfall. Okay. Have you located Belaya? Not yet, but I have some ideas. It is difficult. I have many advisors and other attendants close to me day and night. I will find him. And finally, how did you get here? How are you able to appear before us? They keep a close watch on me. I can't leave the palace. I stole an amulet from the Vigera ambassador. I saw him use it before. But I don't have much time. You need to find the stone. Leave the loud to me. He did not really answer your question. How odd. Yeah. So, Western Channel, um... The spirits are unsettled in this place. They I have to say... Danger. This particular bit of Act 2... lives all of Chaldeans under siege. Uncle Deckard theorized that the demon lords leave demons in their wake, much like us leaving footprints. Do you believe that? Yes. The more I study my uncle's books, the more I realize that even I took his wisdom for granted. Um. This is just in terms of how how game and story work. Um. I wish I could dispel the waterfall for you. Alas, this is no illusion. Um, this is like my least favorite bit of the game, really, because it just feels like you're fetching and running errands, rather than being on an epic quest to save the world. It's like, okay, fetch my blood, please. Okay, fetch my head, please. It's just, um, I know that's how the story does it, but I don't like it. Um, It's hard to really put the finger on. Um, I'll talk more about it as um, as this as it progresses because um, I don't want to spoil anything, as I said. Our but... enemies mean to slow our advance. It will not work. But um, it just feels like you're not really doing very much that's grand and epic and saving the world. It's more like you're just playing fetch for someone. Yeah. It turns to me. Oh, I forgot to resummon my um, my Gargantuan. Actually, I disabled him earlier because he was in the way. But um... my power Ooh, level fast. twenty-two. Let's see what we get after this fight. Oh dear, we get hex. Um, summon a fetish sh shaman for 12 seconds that will hex enemies into chickens. Hexed enemies are enabled to perform offensive actions and take 10% additional damage. Sounds overpowered. Mass confusion. Inside paranoia and enemies, confusing them and causing some to fight for you for 12 seconds. The cooldown seems like really low, though, high though. Hmm. 
Oh well. Acid Cloud. Cause Acid to rain down, dealing an initial 150% weapon damage as poison, poison, followed by 150% weapon damage as poison over 3 seconds to enemies who remain in the area. And my Gargantuan gets a rune. I thought, fair enough, I get a rune before I get a second skill even. Humongoid. Humongoid? Hmm. Um, he just gets a cleave ability. Okay, so how does the fetish shaman work? He follows me, but only for 12 seconds. And then he dies. But the cooldown is nice. Um, mass confusion seems to be kind of a panic button. When I'm in trouble, I can just hit mass confusion. And how does the acid cloud work? Okay. So that's just... Um, it uh, doesn't trigger where I am, it triggers where I'm pointing. So that's good. And I still have my fire bombs and my um, locust swarm. And I think I'm heading the right way, so. Yeah, I'm heading back first. This early in the game you still level up quite a bit, which is useful. It just makes it more entertaining to play as I am playing. I believe later on you get less um, less new skills or new, new runes per level, and obviously at some point you're only getting more runes. And, um, I don't know, in a way I'd say it gets a little more. Not really a little more boring, but level ups become less interesting, I'd say. My I should have known that would happen. Do not worry. We vanquished them, did we not? Nope, oh, so that was a trap apparently, but doesn't matter. We killed them all and defeated the boss. So that's good. I have to remember to actually use like the fetish shaman and the um, mass confusion. Just to see how good they actually are. So here we go, mass confusion. Okay, um... I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time when we start by reading about the desert aqueducts. See you then!